Welcome back to 7 Minute Options. Friday, July 23rd, second video of the day. So just a few minutes ago here, EWZ reached its GTC limit and the order was closed. We opened this strangle back at the beginning of July in episode 58, I believe. And so since the beginning of July, it has moved against us strongly and then moved back to the middle and it's been hovering around the middle for three or four days. And um, you know, the IV is actually still relatively high. I mean, it's not that much higher or lower. Uh, it's a little bit lower than back when it was uh, at the beginning of July, but not by a whole much. So this was just basically the the ticker moving sideways on us for the last uh, two, three weeks. So that's fantastic news there. And I am opening a an earnings trade here. So um, actually next week, I won't be near my computer all that much. So I'm going to be on the road for the next uh, week and a half to two weeks. But basically Pinterest here um, is reporting earnings on July 29th after the close. So that one is on Wednesday and um, today's Friday. But um, so basically if I look at Pinterest here, um, you know, last earnings report had a bit of a gap down, but since then it has collapsed down and it's come all the way back, came back down. So now it's kind of hovering. It's just going sideways, which is kind of exactly where we want to be. IV rank is 41, which is respectable. And so what this allows us to do here is, first of all, there's weeklies here. Uh, there's a fair amount of traffic and volume in them, which is pretty good. But um, so the earnings are reporting on Wednesday, the 28th, August 6th. So you have a good uh, seven to 10 days after the earnings report for this thing to kind of move back and revert to the mean a little bit. But uh, as usual, I'm going to play Jade Lizard here, selling the 66. Um, again, not a whole lot of open interest here, eight cent wide market, but hopefully it'll get filled. Um, these ones are a little bit better. Um, if I can get a dollar forty-four for this one, I'll be happy. Again, no risk to the upside. So looking at the table here, you can see the biggest gains we get is if uh, Pinterest stays between, say, sixty-five-ish uh, and. 84 that's maximum and there's no risk to the upside so it doesn't matter how high it goes um we can still expect the, the maximum there is about um 45 bucks so basically looking at the table here if we collect a dollar 45 taking a risk of losing a dollar up here but we're still keeping the balance of 45 cents and down here if this thing really tends to collapse and it doesn't revert back to the mean then it's again it's just a single put option i can roll it out to the next month's uh, cycle i can turn it into um uh, strangle that kind of thing so a lot of different ways to play it so this one looks pretty good it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to fill i think just because the open interest interest is not as high as i had hoped but let's see where i go with this one so dollar 43 only taking up 700 dollars buying power and this one is uh as good as trading's uh trading uh, sorry <laughs> as earnings plays get so you can see the volatility of this one here is 88%. So in that weekly expiration, we got an IV of 88%, and that should collapse to the um, 50, high 50s, low 60s range. So hopefully that that um, extrinsic value is going to come out of there pretty quick. So let's see if that gets filled. Where's that trading right now? That one is trading for yeah, dollar 43. Maybe I can squeeze down to dollar 42. I'm going to leave it there. If it doesn't fill today, it doesn't fill today. I'm going to see where it is on Monday and try it again. And if I can't get it filled for at least $1.40, then I'm just not going to do it. Um, or maybe I'll do it, but not much lower than $1.40. Because um, it is going to be a, a challenge to fill both when I sell it and when I buy it back. So if I'm losing $5, $10 each way when I sell it, when I buy it, then that's going to hurt me overall. So if it gets filled, great. If not, that's okay too. So that's it. Not a whole lot of other activity here. Um, even with that $700 buying power, now that EWZ closed, I still have 4,000 BP left in my account, which is good. I'm going to keep it there. And yeah, let's see where this goes. Thanks. Bye.